Now I want to talk about a different kind of loop. The for loop we used when we could count the number of items that we wanted to go through. So with an array, for an example, we could say, hey, what's the length of the array? There's five things? Okay, I want to loop five times. When you're dealing with objects, in this example here, so I've got a variable called monsters. I've defined it as an object. Inside the object, I've got three properties. Uh, label, value, label, value, label, value. But because it's an object, there is no length property. So when I run the code, you can see here it says undefined. There is no length property. I can't use that in my code. So I can't use a for loop because I don't know how many items are in there. And that's because of the way objects are put together. They've got a you can put different things in there. You can have more than just strings and numbers and booleans. So it doesn't have a length property. So how do we do this? How do we loop through everything in that object without knowing how many things there are in the object? Well, there is another type of loop called a for in loop that allows us to do this. So we can say for something in something else. Now that sounds a little bit vague, I know. So for variable in object. This is the way we're going to write this. So I'm going to declare a variable. I can use var, I can use let. Again, I recommend let for loops. Let prop. That's what I'll call it. It can be anything. It could be that. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to call it prop. Just so it makes sense. Because I'm going to be looking at the properties that are inside of my object called monsters. So let's just write out prop. This is like my counter variable for a for loop. If I run this again, there's the entire object, and here's my loop. Canada, Nepal, Scotland. Canada, Nepal, Scotland. Those are the properties. These are the names of these individual things. So it's kind of like the keys the index for each one of those things. Console.log. Now you'll remember from before when we were talking about objects, we were talking about how you could do things like this, or inside here you could do this, or if it was a variable, you could do that. Now I can't do the dot notation because this is a variable. It's not a string. It's not this isn't prop, this isn't called prop, this isn't called prop. These have different names. So this is a variable that's holding those three values one at a time as we go through the loop. In monsters. Monsters is the thing that we're looping through and we're saying, hey, just give me a list. I'm going to go once per property and do whatever I've got written inside here. If there's three things, I'm going to loop three times. If there's 40 things, I'm going to loop 40 times. Canada, Sasquatch, Nepal, Yeti, Scotland, Loch Ness Monster. So there's the property name and the property value. Monsters, sub, prop. So instead of I as my counter loop variable, prop is the container that is used temporarily to hold each of these things as we go through monsters. So if you wanted to write both together in one statement, so in, then I'm going to use the country name. We 
have the and then monsters sub prop. There we go. I'll stretch this out a little bit just so you see it all in one line. In prop, which will be Canada, Nepal, or Scotland, in that order as we go through, we have the and actually I don't need the extra spaces here because the commas in the console log will automatically add space for me. In Canada we have the Sasquatch. In Nepal we have the Yeti. In Scotland we have the Loch Ness Monster. There we go. This is a four in loop. So when you're looking at an object instead of an array, when you don't know how many items there are because there is no length property, we use a for in loop. We still declare a variable. We initialize a variable to use as our counter through the loop. We just don't know how many items there are. This is the thing that we want to loop through. Now we can use a for in loop for an array as well. So if we had an array, uh, let's say. Woody and Roxy and Bob. Yeah, we'll just go with that. With those three names, we want it to loop through pets. Pets subprop. In zero, we have the Woody. In one, we have the Roxy. In two, we have the Bob. So here, we can use a for in loop for an array. Prop just becomes the index 0, 1, 2. I'll shrink this down a little bit so we see that. There we go. Prop becomes the counter 0, 1, 2. Pets is the array that we're looping through. So this is the index and this is the value. Dum, dum, dum. And that's a for in loop.